What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dyson model or I don't know why they call it this. The one, the death and the strawberry Ichigo action figure. Let's dive right into it. Now starting off with that sexy packaging, not a whole lot going on here. You've got the window slightly where you can see the figure, some of the accessories. They're kind of just all over the place. I don't know what this is, the death and the strawberry. That is weird, but okay, maybe that's a bleach reference. I don't know. If you know, then someone tell me. You got the hollow mask right here, kind of finishes at the top. At the bottom, you've got... Uh, Basically instructions, it lets you know it's made in China, barcode, nothing on this side, nothing much on this side, some kanji, and then uh, on the back, or maybe this is the front, I don't know, it says uh, bleach, so that's pretty much it, let's go ahead and bust this figure open so we can see what it's all about. Now, if you didn't already watch my first review of the Dotson model Ichigo, here we are with the second one, and I gotta say, this thing looks awesome i mean that head sculpt is ichigo all the way that face sculpt ichigo that angry look that he has on his face even this soul reaper outfit like this thing just looks so good man um i really like that they i thought this was bendy wire but i guess not so it kind of warps be careful with that but you can kind of move it around and have it posed the way you want it to you'll just have to mess with it quite a bit but um overall man this thing looks so good and i know everyone has been saying they wanted an Ichigo figure to add to their collection. And I feel like Dawson Model really nailed it because not only do we have an Ichigo figure, we have a good Ichigo figure with soft goods, meaning that the articulation is not hindered. This guy is going to pose fine. And I'll discuss that more in terms of the articulation, but this just looks so good, man. From head to toe, this thing looks really, really good, and I enjoy it. I have one issue, and I'll discuss that a little bit later, but um, overall, not a whole lot to discuss because you can't really see anything. All the points of articulation are covered. There's not a whole lot of details in the clothing. It's just pretty much all black. You got a little bit of white on it. Um, it's It looks good. It looks like they made it with quality material. Um, that hopefully will last. I like this pleather type material back here just to kind of break it up a little bit. It's not extremely noticeable when you pose him from the front, so that's awesome. Therefore, you can't really see the difference when you're posing him. And then also, sometimes black doesn't even show up like that in light. It just all looks the same. So still, this, this looks really, really good. Now, let's go ahead and put this guy back so I can show you guys how tall he stands. And now we move on to my first and so far my only issue with this figure. To the top of his head, he stands literally seven inches tall. Meaning that if you want to get your Jump Force on, your J-Stars, whatever you want to call it, he's not going to fit in scale with your Gokus, your Dekus, your Naruto's, Boruto, whichever class of Shonen you want to pose him with, Deku, it's just not going to work. And I will show some size comparisons a little bit later, but yeah, that to me is like the biggest bummer. Moving on to one of the best parts, the articulation. He looks up, ooh, I was not expecting that, so his head will come off, be weary of that. And I'm gonna leave that on camera for you guys to see. I was not expecting that at all. And this is how you put it back on. Um, it popped off and you just plug that back hair piece on and then you plug that front piece on. I think I'm the only person that leaves my mistakes on cameras, but uh, are on camera. But yeah, he looks up about that much, which is really good with the way that the eyes are painted on there. It actually looks like he's looking up he looks down only about that much, not too much actually. I'm gonna see if I can get that to go down a little bit more. Um, no, it doesn't. So that's about as much as you get looking down. That head does pop off very well uh, and pops back on very well also. He does get tilt and turn, all that good stuff. As far as the arm movement goes, they go up and out about that much. T-pose won't be a problem. There is a butterfly joint in there. See how effective it is. Uh, so he can bring his hands all the way in. Holding his sword will be no problem. He does have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. His hands are on a hinge. Let's see if I can show that off. 
yeah that pops off very nicely once again i i dig that the joints on this thing are so solid and the hands when you peg them in they're so soft it doesn't feel like you're gonna break that joint so i really like this a lot um as far as torso articulation you can see a little bit of it actually uh if you look there it is right there so there's the diaphragm joint he can lean back about that much and if you want to hide it you can just pull that down that is awesome i love that they did that um he does get let me move my hand back here he does get a ton of movement around there as you can see let me move his arms out of the way as far as moving forward you got to push this piece in and then pull forward to get him to crunch forward again so um don't try to force that or you'll break it don't forget to push that in and uh he leans forward about that much which is fine he does have the waist swivel that works very very well all of this is separate from the upper part it's not stitched together so that works well in terms of working the articulation in there great job dotson model as far as the legs go he kicks out about that much so if you wanted to pose him kicking somebody you could totally do it even though i don't think i've ever seen him kick anyone splits about that much that works very well he does have a really 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 good thigh swivel in there man uh, as far as the knees i'm gonna pull them up as you can see it is double jointed so he can bend all the way back and then let me fix that i feel like i'm just messing this guy's clothing up and it's so good that i hate doing it but i want to show that articulation the foot goes down about that much up about wait a minute move that up about that much actually he does get ankle rocker you kind of got to wiggle it around but there is ankle rocker in there now there is no toe hinge unfortunately i'm fine with that but it would have been cool to have it now anyway overall articulation on this guy is solid just always be careful when you're fixing it because you don't want to break anything thinking that your joints are facing one way and they're facing the opposite way and then you just try to quick pose it and then snap you don't want that so let me go ahead and fix this guy and put him back so we can talk about those accessories now if you're enjoying this figure already i will tell you that it will only get better from this point on First off, he comes with his default head sculpt and a pair of fist hands. He comes with a pair of sword holding hands. He comes with a pair of stylish pose, reaching, grabbing, whatever you want to use them for hands. And then a pair of relaxed hands where you can just kind of have them down by his side. Um, he comes with his Bankai, I believe it's Zangetsu. And this looks really good. I love the fact that they made the chain just like a... a so, like a solid piece i hate when companies make it metal and then it kind of just floats around or they put actual chain on there yeah it's cool but i like this a whole lot better therefore i don't have to worry about it flopping around while i'm posing him um he also comes with the sheath version of course and one thing i really like that they did is they made this piece right here that tucks into the sheath a little bit longer and the reason i like that is because when they make it a small piece Sometimes I'll be posing these around and they'll just kind of flop around or fall out. I don't have to worry about that with this. And so I really, really like that. Now, where do I start in terms of expressions? Because you get quite a few. Uh, I think I'll start with this one. First off, he comes with an excited, laughing, grinning, um, whatever kind of face you want to use it for. And this is just him just kind of laughing. Um, you do get the head with the full hollow mask which looks really good. He comes with separate hair pieces as well to uh, complete the head sculpt once you pop it on the body. So you get those. Um, and I'll show this one off next. This comes in the package. This is him in his glory right here. This I really like right here. This is where the hollow mask is like half taken over, but you got the black eye right there. And that looks so sick. And you actually can pop this plate right here off. I probably can't do it right now. I need to heat it up. Um, but you pop that plate off and then you attach it to these other two expressions that he comes with. You have this one where it's a serious face and then you have this one where he's kind of smirking. So in terms of accessories, you get a ton. Now, if you want some more expressions for the regular Ichigo face, you probably have to buy the first version that released, and that's the one that's going to come with him. I believe like a teeth gritted face, a smirking face, a yelling face. And so they actually played it smart with this release. So if you want all those expressions, you do also have to get the first release, which I think is still 
fairly available and cheap in terms of price. And this isn't my favorite, but he does also come with a stand that has two clamps. And usually I use these for my Haikyuu setup. So if I'm taking pictures of my Haikyuu figures, that's when I'll use these. Uh, I just don't feel like it really fits Ichigo. But yeah, you do get this as well. And they work just fine. They're very sturdy and don't look too bad. Now, I know I said it only gets better from here out, but I was completely forgetting about the fact that I had to cover the size comparison. So... This is what I know is going to turn a lot of people off, but as you can see, here he is standing next to an SHF. I believe this is the best selection Naruto or Sage Mode Naruto. I switched the faces around so much, I don't know. Here he is also standing next to a full power Super Saiyan God Goku or full power Super Saiyan Goku with the demoniacal fit Super Saiyan God head sculpt on the body. And then, of course, the SH figure arts Yuji Itadori posed as Sukuna right now. And he looks so awesome, man. I love this figure. Next up, here he is standing next to an SH Figure Arts Boruto Uzumaki, which that series is going hard right now. If you ain't watching it, you slacking. I'm just being honest. Uh, we do have him standing next to a Revel Tech. I almost forgot the name of the brand. Uh, but yeah, Revel Tech My Hero Academia Deku. And then, of course, we do have the Buzz Ma Demon Slayer Tanjiro to the far right. Now, lastly, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends PS4 Game Reverse Spider-Man and IT Chapter 1, I believe, Pennywise. And the reason that I threw him in here is to show you guys just how close in height Ichigo is to this Pennywise figure. That just lets you know it's really not a 6-inch figure, which sucks. And then lastly, we do have the Captain Tsubasa, which is also by Dawson Model. Now, the reason I threw him in here is because... It kind of bothers me that they made this figure almost technically 6 inch and then Ichigo is just so tall. I really wish that they could have just scaled this figure up a bit and then it would have been fine to put Ichigo on that body because of the fact that all of this is going to cover everything. So you can't really tell that he's lanky or anything if they utilize this body underneath it. So, I don't know. I just hate that they made him so tall. Maybe it's not meant to be 6 inch. I'm pretty sure it's not. But I feel like more people would buy this if it was a 6 inch figure. Now, I know I said it before in my first Ichigo review. But I'll go ahead and say it again in this one. This figure is practically perfect. The only issue I have with it is the scaling. And I can't really fault them for that because this might just be intended to be a 7 inch figure. I really can't say. But based on my prior experiences with this company, most of their stuff is normally 6 inch. And I know that for a fact when it comes to the One Punch Man stuff. And I also believe the Captain Tsubasa stuff is technically considered 6 inch scale. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, they might be smaller characters, but I think that they're 6 inch scale. And then I believe also the Roroni Kenshin stuff is. You can correct me on that one in the comments if you want. But um, that's what I believe. So I don't know if they scaled this up because they believe Ichigo is a taller character. Which he is, but it just makes me wonder how tall characters like Orihime, Rukia would be if they decided to make them. Um, which I doubt that they will, but if they make characters like Chad and Uryu, I believe Chad is taller than Ichigo, so that figure would be huge. I believe Bak Byakuya, who's my favorite character, is taller than Ichigo. Um, Toshihiro, I would love him. He's smaller, but um, I would just like to see how they scale with SH Figure Arts and other companies. I know none of this stuff is technically meant to scale, but when you know you're not going to get a whole collection of these, you want them to be able to scale with other stuff. And not to harp on that because that's just my personal preference. I try to stay away from anything 7 inch, excuse me. But um, I like this thing a lot. And it bothers me. I, I really do like this figure. And you guys saw everything, man. The accessories, just outstanding. The articulation, this guy is, po is basically limitless when it comes to uh, possibilities and things like that. So I do recommend the figure if you want it. I did pick it up from 5K Toys. That is 5, the number, and then K 
Toys. Uh, you can find them. They are very fast at shipping, very reliable, very friendly. You can message them on Instagram if you want. They're usually pretty quick to respond. Uh, they are based in California, and I've dealt with them on numerous occasions. So, yes, they are trustworthy. But, um, yeah, I picked this up from them for, I believe it was like $54.99 after shipping and everything so a great price for this figure if you do want to get your hands on it now that being said this is my review i hope that you guys enjoyed it if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever i upload new content and lastly follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of youtube hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe wherever you are and uh bye